So this was our last day in Nebraska, and we knew this spot had a ton of birds in them. We figured out where they were roosting, and we got in there super early, and we got set up kind of close, a little bit too close for my liking, to be honest. It but. was super close, and we each have a tag left, so we both brought our bows. Our friend Jordan Cook is filming for us, and it yeah. is turning out to be an amazing morning. It is straight up the best turkey morning you could ever imagine. Turkeys are gobbling everywhere. It is about as epic as it can get. So we got set up, we can see the roost tree and there were literally hundreds of turkeys in it. They all start to fly down and we've got about 15 toms, I'd say what, about 100 yards in front of us? Just At least 10 around. to 15 toms, it was crazy. Yeah, so we each have our bows. I'm up first, we've got Jordan Cook filming for us and he also is like, I think a world champion caller. He's he should incredible. be. <laughs> so if you, normally I do all the calling. Yes. But if you've ever heard Jordan Cook do any calling, you're gonna if you're in the blind with him you're gonna keep your mouth shut and let him do all the work so that's exactly what we did he started calling i mean everything was it was perfect the birds were working their way in yep. it was going to be a slam dunk morning <laughs> So who would have ever thought that too many turkeys would be <laughs> yeah. the problem? Like I mentioned earlier, we both brought our bows because we each have a tag left. And our intentions were to draw at the same time. We've got Jordan filming so we don't have to worry about the camera. Right. Draw at the same time. You pick a bird, I pick a bird. We, we shoot, shoot at the same we time. We shoot at the same time. And while that was great in theory, these birds for some reason right. were just dancing around, not stopping. They, they were literally going crazy. I yeah. mean, crisscrossing. Right when I was able to shoot, then a hen would walk in front, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is turning one, into a fiasco. And then I picked one, then he went over here, and so I was up first regardless. Anyway, I was just going to let Sarah shoot, and then if I had a chance, I was going to shoot. What an amazing last morning here in Nebraska. I am so grateful that I just got this big tom. Our intention, like I said, was to get a double at the same time. Unfortunately, right. that didn't work out, but I shot my bird, they ran off, and we still see a ton of turkeys about 100 yards away. Which is a great benefit for bow hunting turkeys because typically the bow going off doesn't scare them too bad. So Sarah shot, her bird ran off and died. We can kind of see it out of the corner of the blind, which was awesome. Yep. And uh, the other turkeys were still strutting right out in front of us. So. We're gonna do it, do our best, and see if we can't uh, call these ones in too.
So these birds were working their way in. It was gonna be a great, great setup. Sarah's bird's dead, I'm up to bat, and uh, they're working their way in, and for whatever reason, they get pretty close, and then they, you can tell they're getting kind of nervous, they're getting kind of spooked. I don't know if they could see Sarah's dead turkey. I don't know what <laughs> the heck's going on. Or the glowing knock sitting out there. That could have been it, too. Yeah. Um, but either way, you could tell they weren't going to come all the way into the decoy. So I grabbed the, the new turkey rage, and I put that in to make a longer shot. <laughs> We doubled up again here in Nebraska, and as amazing and as epic of a morning as it was, we made probably one of the most rookie mistakes you could ever make while filming. Right. Yeah. Our audio was not working on the main camera. No. Literally all the audio you've been hearing from the hunt was from a secondary camera in the blind. Yeah. The so, GoPro. A GoPro, of yeah. all things. So I'm... Obviously, we're both really upset about this. We didn't know about this until it was way too late. Of course. So, unfortunately, while we did, we were able to salvage the hunt and get the turkey audio and everything else. As soon as we got out of the blind, the GoPro obviously stopped recording. So, But you know what? Either way, we are absolutely unbelievably excited about doubling up again in Nebraska here at Hidden Hills Outfitters. It never fails. We always have a great time out here. And especially getting them with a bow, it couldn't have been a better setup. It was such an incredible morning just to have those turkeys come in, to have that interaction, to have so many turkeys and so many hens and so many toms right in our face. To just be able to get one each is incredible. We are so blessed and so grateful, and we cannot think of a better way to end our time in Nebraska for this turkey tour. And next, we are off to Kansas. <laughs> 